cook, you could cook something for me. So the night that he was supposed to come and bring everything, he called and said, oh, uh, I, I ain't got my car or something. He made an excuse for not having a vehicle. And he was like, you, you still want to um, go on this date? And I was like, yeah, sure. You know, out of desperation. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I said, I'll come pick you up, you know, because I'm desperate. I'm desperate. And so <laughs> I go pick him up and um, we get there. I get there. He come out, you know, his hand, his pants all the way up to his uh his his knee ankles his you know stuff all the way up here his shirt unbuttoned all you see his chest hair he's got that cologne all just you know in the little ball spot in the top so anyway oh, how much older no yeah like almost older. 20 plus 20 plus <laughs> and so that's how you know you desperate because you ain't you know he was like, but I ain't, I say, okay, where the food? He was like, he ain't had a food. He didn't had a food. And I was like, okay, well, he's like, I just need to stop by the store and get the food. I said, okay, that's fine. Let's just stop by the store. We stopped by Walmart. <laughs> we stopped by Walmart <laughs> to get the food. And we get to Walmart. I'm putting everything in the car. He putting everything he gonna fix in the car and everything. And then he was like, okay, um, we get to the checkout line. Um, he pulled out his card and they said, Sir, this card declined. He said, How's it declined? It's EBT. I said, Dude, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> I said, Dude, I was like, Oh my goodness, he was like, No, try it again, try it again. He said, And I walked on there, he keeps sticking this EBT card in there, trying to, um, you know, run it through, but it was it was declined each time. And then, and then they run it and said, It had no money, maybe like a dollar or something on there. And then he was like, Oh, can you just go ahead and pay for these? I'll give you your money back later. Just go ahead and pay for these girls. And so, like, this how gullible and not stupid I was, I went ahead and paid for the groceries. And then we get to his, get to my place to cook or whatever. And then he couldn't, and, and he cooked. And then, you know, it was good and stuff. It would taste real good. I mean, or whatever, or whatever he cooked. But he couldn't tell me. So in the conversation, he couldn't tell me what happened to him in the last 20 years. Okay. And I kept asking him questions and I couldn't get no direct. That's answer. scary. That's to, the le- to, the, to the end of that, I took him home and, and they never went back to pick him up again because something wasn't, wasn't right. So then I called my friend, I said, and I told her today, she bust out laughing, talking about that's funny, that's funny. I said, ain't nothing funny about this. (laughs) (laughs) You hooked me up with this man. You hooked me up with this man, talking about he a good catch. And then finally, um, I get I get back to the church house and I'm I'm, you know, I talked to some other deacons and stuff, and then they explained to me, oh, you went on a date with him. I said, yeah, he was like. You know that van he driving got the convicts coming every every Sunday. I said, "What you mean?" <laughs> Come to find out, he was an inmate and um, on probation. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just had the worst luck <laughs> when it comes to me <laughs> all, t- all together. Wait, wait, can we hear the story of this man on America's Most Wanted? Though? You can't call that. Oh, you can't yeah. call that. Oh, man on America's Most oh, Wanted, God. though. We got all about them, man. Oh, my God. So, that dude I dated, so we were sitting in the living room. So, this is a whole nother dude. Yes. I dated. Oh, my God. And he used to, he used to deliver about. my furniture. Well, that's how I met him. He delivered my furniture. So one day we dated really quickly. So one day we sitting on my couch, his phone blowing up. It's just blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. And then we on there, we I'm watching, we watching the news, we talking. And they said on the screen, on the news, Arkansas's most wanted, right? And I was like, wait a minute, that picture looks familiar. It's him. Okay. It's dude. <laughs> And he on the couch talking to his friend, his friend, and he looking up and he's just bust out crying. And then, you know, they had a reward for him or whatnot. And I'm looking like, I was like consoling him and stuff. And I was like, you know, let's just go to the police station. (laughs) Did it work? Yeah, I took him down there. Oh, you got, how much you get? 
I forgot. I think it was like a five hundred dollar reward or something. That's it. But then he called. And he was like, "You come and put. You gonna put some commissary on my books? You want? Uh, I kind of broke up with him while he was in jail. But uh, anyway, my dating life has sucked over the years, and I don't think. You should do a video series where you just tell stories. Yes, about you know, story day. time. About story time with Sharita. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Speaking of red flags, y'all, what's some red flags besides FBI most wanted? Uh, <laughs> things that you know. Things that you know. Uh, somebody, somebody, uh, long red distance flags. relationships. Long distance relationships. Yeah, you think long distance long, relationships long, is a red flag? Oh, uh, come on now. I wouldn't go that far. No, for me, it, it was not the one that, not the one, not if they close like a couple, like a city away, I can go to in the same day. I think it's okay. But if you just like in like four, five states away, uh, you, you really don't know what that person is doing and who that person really is. I think that's where the trust come in, though. Nah, bro. I'm with you. I don't trust that. I don't, I don't, don't trust that. That depends on the individual. No, I don't think that's, that's a fair, a fair assessment to. So says that's like a, a real toxic red flag. Well, I just know the last one I was in, he stole my money and I ain't got time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he, he was a big walking red flag. He was, it was a big, big walking red flag. flag. But you know what? I learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I would so. I would have hoped you both. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I learned my lesson. So that's how that goes. <laughs> I was telling you to drop that a long time ago. You really the did. Whole, and I was just like, the whole no, situation seemed wrong. He said he's a man of God and he said we're supposed to be together. And that was the number one thing right there. Right. <laughs> why, I was why he got to be feeling like he gonna